Hi, I'm Mitch and this is a £20 workbench. Last time I started showing you some of the accessories I made for the bench. Uh, this time we're going to continue that. I haven't had much time in the workshop the last couple of weeks, it's been really busy, but I have managed at least to get uh, a shoulder vise made. So that's what I'm going to show you today. It may just be my impression, but the internet seems to be full of mocks on vices and leg vices and uh, very few, if any, shoulder vices. So uh, I thought the first thing I'd make for this bench would be a shoulder vise and, and actually something a little bit different here. I've got uh, two screws on it. Now currently it's just bolted on as an attachment and I think that's probably how I'm going to leave it. So with a couple of half inch threaded rod bars and some uh, wing nuts both here and on the back side of the bench. That holds it nice and firm. Also there's no support under this because it's an accessory. If you're going to have this permanently attached to the bench it would be worth putting a nice wooden bracket up here to give a bit more support to the to the shoulder. I haven't quite finished off the handles yet. I just roughed these out for the time being out of some plywood and they're going to work really well but uh, I think I'm going to wrap them probably in some leather just to make them really comfortable and obviously I've got some rounding off to do on the edges and flushing off the ends of the screws here. Now you can see the principle of the shoulder vise here. We have an extension to the bench coming out which is the shoulder in front of the bench and then we have this arm that goes across the front so effectively just out on a limb so to speak. Through that we have two screws and attached to the end of those or loosely attached to the end of those is uh, one of the jaws of the vise and then the bench becomes the back jaw. Attaching the screws loosely means you just put a, a groove in the back of the, the screw itself and then that rides within a hole and it's captured by, i show you here, a couple of keys in this instance. So the, the slot in the end of the screw just goes into that little groove there. So that stops the face of the jaw falling off and allows the screw to be operated without catching on the actual jaw. Now the screws aren't particularly big, they're just 5 8 of an inch, um, 5 threads per inch. That's one of the reasons why I've put two in. If it was uh, a normal shoulder vise would have one screw with perhaps an inch and a quarter in diameter. So it was a bit of an experiment, uh, but it seems to work really well. The reason I went for that size is that uh, I was on a budget and I was able to borrow a screw box and a tap uh, which obviously meant no expenditure and that just happened to be the size it was. I did run into a problem however, the tap that I was given to use uh, was five threads per inch and uh, the box, although supposedly it was supposed to match it, was actually turning out a screw that was six threads per inch. So uh, no idea what was happening there. And as you can see, the back of this looks a bit uh, Heath Robinson. That's my attempt at rebuilding the back of the thread box so it would give me the five threads per inch. It actually does a pretty good job. I've turned out a couple of extra threads because I've got uh, another idea for this bench, uh, which you may see in the future. So just how well does this vice work? Well, I've found something to clamp in it. I showed you this accessory last time. Let's pop that down on, well, put it down on the bench jack, might as well. Another accessory that I showed you last time. Now as you just wind in the screws, and that's rock solid. Now, I think it's fair to say you don't actually need a, uh, a vise on a workbench. There are other work holding techniques you can use. And uh, perhaps we'll look at some of those in the future as well. But uh, it can be quite quick and quite handy to use a vise. hasn't budged at all so I'm really chuffed with that. I think it's a great uh, little accessory for the bench. Now that's going to be included in the plans. Uh, the plans for the actual bench itself are already available. Now there were problems a fortnight ago uh, when the video came out 
the routing of my website wasn't working properly and so people were having problems finding those plans. They should all be available at the moment. Uh, it all seems to be working nicely. The plans for the accessories and this uh, the vice as well. I've still got to finish those uh, and get those published. So uh, watch out for those in the coming weeks. Now if I couldn't make a pair of working screws, the whole vice build would have been a waste of time. So the first thing I did was to, to make a pair of screws. As you can see, I turned down uh, the dowel from a piece of beet that I found, and uh, that seemed to work really well. The shoulder, arm, and the jaw of the vise are all made from Maranti, and it's just sandwiched together. As this was to be a removable vise, it's fitted with uh, bolts right the way through the bench. So I drilled for those, got some threaded bar in there, drilled the actual sandwich of the Maranti, and just uh, bolted that all on with wing nuts. The sharp corner you can see on the end of the arm could be a bit uncomfortable, so I'm just rounding it off before drilling the holes which are going to be tapped. A groove on the inside of the shoulder helps to keep the uh, vice jaw aligned and so the jaw needs to receive a little tenon. The knobs for the vice screw were cut using the mitre saw using a simple jig. This is probably a very dangerous technique so don't try it yourself. I'd left a square section on the screws when I'd turned them originally so that square section could then be mortised into one of the two pieces that make up a handle so it could be sandwiched together and provide a very positive registration. I only glued these two handle halves together so that if I wanted to replace it with a nicer handle in future it would be much easier to remove. And here's a nice shot of the groove I turned in the end of the uh, screw which will connect it to the jaw. Another piece of the salvage Maranti was used to make a backer to the jaw and that housed the slots for the keys made from a tiny piece of panga panga. Let me just show you what's uh, left of the material. Still got that bag full of the offcuts from the, the pallet slats. And on the top of the bench, I've got some, some more pallet slats, a couple of those, uh, some longer lengths of cutoffs. I've got some of the decking boards that are still there. And I've got lots of the engineered flooring. I haven't got around to using that for anything yet, so that, uh, that's something I've got to think about. And there's also some more Maranti and ply under there as well. So still plenty of stuff left. There's still plenty of accessories I'd like to make for it. And I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to show you some more of those in a week or a fortnight's time. As for the spend so far on this project, we've reached a total now of £11.60. Plans for the basic workbench are already available online. Uh, free to download, although I'm suggesting a donation of a pound if you can afford it. Plans for the vice and accessories will be made available shortly. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.